One, two. What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're checking out what I believe is John Mayer's most underrated song. So let's go. Cool. So like today's video title suggests, for today's video, we're checking out what I believe is John Mayer's most underrated song, and that is Perfectly Lonely off the Battle Studies record. In my opinion, this has all the key components for a perfect Mayer song. Great chord progression, great guitar tone, great guitar solos, you know, and a bit of theory behind it that makes it all come together. Uh, fun fact for you guys. <laughs> uh, when I lived in West Hollywood in 2019, I ran into Chad Franskoviak, John's engineer for the past, I don't know, 20 plus years. And I was listening to Perfectly Lonely and I said, this has to be one of John's most underrated songs. And I think he said that he agreed, which is pretty cool. Um, anyways, here's a photo of me and Chad at the NAMM show a couple weeks ago. That was pretty cool. But yeah, you know, since 2010, this song has, I don't think, been performed fully. He did perform a snippet of it during the last solo tour, but that was only 30 seconds, you know. Um, and at NAMM, when I'm talking to Chad, I said, can we please have a perfectly lonely full song on the solo tour? <laughs> so we'll see if that happens. So yeah, let's continue with this video and see what components I believe make this the perfect song. Cool, so the song is in the key of C major and the chords throughout the song are all diatonic in the key of C major. Now the main chords that we hear are quite simple. We have C, F, D minor, G. In the key of C, that would be our one, four, two, five, one. And if you're someone like me who enjoys diving into the theory of some of John's music, you'll take note that 251 or 6251 are very common turnarounds he uses and very simple turnarounds that he uses to get back to home base, which in this case is C. One, four, two, five, one. Very simple yet effective turnaround. Now the song kicks off with, I guess what we can call an opening guitar solo. And that starts on the third beat of the first bar. So it's a pickup, right? So if I go to my middle position on my Telecaster, engage overdrive, you would count it like this. One, two. Very cool opening guitar sequence. I think he used a La Cabrinita Telecaster for that. Not too sure, I'm sure John Mayer Gear on Instagram would know. And that brings us to our verse. So what's cool with the verse is that we can still have our same chords, C, F, D minor, G, but we can approach it now like
much more active, which is super cool. And that progression takes us through verse one and through most, right, of the chorus. Now what's cool with the chorus is that it still does this. But it ends like this. E minor, A, D minor, Another classic turnaround. By doing that, John's doing one, F, four, D minor, two, five, G, E minor, three minor, A minor, our six, D minor, two, G, five, back to one. Remember, like I said, John loves two five ones or six two five ones? Right there. Genius. Here it comes. So good. Second verse, again, same chord progression. But at the end, of the second verse. I'm looking at the lyrics, so I have context, <laughs> right? Um, when it goes to the nothing to do, no one to be, that goes to the three minor. Nothing to do, no one to be. Is it really hard to see? I'm perfectly lonely. Back to our C chord. And that repeats. Now comes for me the best part of the whole song. I guess we can call it the bridge. A minor, C, F, G. There I'm doing G major, G sharp minor, E, A minor, sorry. C, F, F minor, the money chord, back to C. So good. So out of the chorus into the bridge, something like this. which takes us to the solo. But man, that F major to F minor, back to our C, so, so good. That's very much a Beatles thing. 
they would do a lot, four major to four minor, back to C. And I guess also in this context, you know, him preaching perfectly lonely, that's going from very happy to very sad, and then it relieves back to C. Now that we're in the solo section, it's all C major pentatonic, right? Because remember, our chords are still C, F, D minor, G, C, right? And that's all C major. If we throw in a Leslie effect with the Strymon Lex, it can sound something like this. A great solo. It's so good, it's so memorable, and it really tops off what I think is the perfect song. The song then continues with the same progression. And then it has a really cool kind of like dueling guitar solo at the end that at the time would be him and Robbie McIntosh dueling it out on stage. <laughs> guys that is today's video hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one